the RPG Blender, where we give lesser played games or forgotten settings the roll of the dice they deserve. I'm your host, Game Master George, thrilled to welcome you to this edition of Grab Bag Gaming. The super metal Astral Calicos have made their presence known, but will their unique form of diplomacy be as steady as their aim? So join us as we step into a world of mayhem and public relations in RPG Blender's Grab Bag Gaming, Nice Marines. And what's your name? I am Antod Kerry. I am the head of the House of Psychic Nobles here. Then let it be known that the quarrel between executioners and techno bishops will be handled by us, the super metal astral calico chapter. Meow meow! Meow meow. Meow meow! <laughs> I will take those impressing civilians' rolls. Uh -oh. Hell yeah! Maybe one of these will go good. I'm so sorry. I got an 11. I got a 16. I got a 7? <laughs> so we have an 11, a 16, and a 7? Yeah. A 16. Hoo boy. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I, I remember that. I, I forget. I, I want to peek, but I'm not. <laughs> Wait, 11 to 19 is bad. Joe, yeah, Joe and I did bad. Oh, Joe no. Joe and I did very bad. <laughs> I did not the worst, but not great. <laughs> okay. It was comply, comply, your, your, your well, announcement. Meow, correct? meow. The, meow, the, meow, 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 right. meow, 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 That's our <laughs> right. battle cry. Yes. Also, just quick point of order. I can assume correctly that the rest of our uh, company died glorious, terrible deaths, right? Rest did they not even survive landing? Like, did they dry in the drop pod and we just kind of moved past that? <laughs> no, you are the company. Okay, this is it. Okay, great, great, great. I wasn't sure if there was like supposed to be more of us or okay. We are a awesome. three man nope. company. Three man army. I mean, we did decimate half a city needed. in two days by accident. I see this. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. You meow meow. You meow meow. And together, the force of your meow meows wipes this man from the face of the earth as the <laughs> sonic blast evaporates him completely. Oh God. Adrius, you then finish your triumphant speech and stand there proudly to the terrified gazes of the people in the destroyed buildings to your right and your left. You have heard the words of the emperor. It is done. Away! <laughs> jump, jump back backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Jump back backwards. Great. Yeah. I, uh, I I collect the bones. Uh, I kind of point at the smear, looking at the civilians in the buildings, and go, "He was a fraud. He said he was psychic. Should have seen that coming." Zoom, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a be nice to civilians roll. Oh, I'm good at that one. I think I have no idea what to. Nope, that's a one. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm good at that one, you, he said. You had one job. You console the civilians, assuring them that this psychic noble was truly not psychic before you leap backwards away. Just beginning to catch out of the side of your eye, the bones begin to hover and reshape into the form of a man. Wait, what? <laughs> As you leap away. <laughs> Wait, what? No, bring me back. If my stand, I didn't jump yet. Am I standing next to some <laughs> hovering bone thing? Apparently. Comply. The skull turns to face. Come by. Fly. Okay, you make an impressing civilian's roll, please. Is this- wait, is this thing still a civilian? Uh, this is the one time in this nonsense that I'm going to petition the DM. Anything that is not you is a civilian. Awesome, that makes perfect- no, I rescind my comment, that makes perfect sense, thank you. I'm glad you clarified that, because my next action was to bury my bolter into his chest and empty the clip. I got a five. <laughs> Okay, you get your five. The skull floating there as the bones begin to rein it below gives you a nod. What are you? It looks like it is attempting to speak, but without a tongue, it is very hard. I feel like you're trying to tell me something. Reduce you give me a gather information roll okay. if you'd like. Okay, please. <laughs> uh, I'd say read his lips, left. but that's not helpful. I no. got a four. No. You read the bones. You got a four? I got a four. Okay, you got a four. The bones, as they begin to rein it, begin to point and point. And they seem to be doing some kind of ceremonial walk in the middle of the street. <gasps> the yes, is telling us, telling me to throw a parade, my god, and also to reduce, reuse, and recycle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, strange skeletal creature. And I empty my clip into him, <laughs> and I fall on my back. <laughs> 
into first grade. And my brother Iggy. You empty your clip into the bones, which shatter beyond repair, exploding in a fine spray of dust. And then I, I, I fly off. I fly off to go yeah. catch my, my squad mates. Great. Which way do you go? We're heading back to the... To hey, the... Uh, I oh, oh, I go. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I guess gather information to see which way they went. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck, I rolled a one. Oh, no. Alexander, no. Oh, no. Jetpacks don't work backwards. Clearly, he went forwards. Uh, the only way to go is always forwards. Forwards! <laughs> Come on! In the name of the Emperor. <laughs> For Gregor, a hungry every boy. <laughs> Adrius and Iggy. As the night begins to end and the sun rises, you see Alexander rocketing away from you toward the... Yes, kind of toward the sun. Uh, do we, the sun here rises in the southeast. Is he going do, on a side quest? I have no idea. Do we have comms? I assume we have comms. All right. Sure. Alexander, turn around. Oh, wait. Which way is turned around, Captain Sergeant? You're out of formation, Alexander. I'm so sorry. I'll <laughs> I'll spend six months in penance. Not penance, not penance. Your past <laughs> self will pay for this. Now return. Pass up again. Uh, I land and then readjust my coordinates. And then uh, now that I realize that we have comms, because I've been so eager to spread, uh, to shed blood, I convey to my two compatriots um, the fact that, uh, well, I'll just say it, Captain Sergeant First Grade, mm. I'm on my way to you. But a skeletal figure appeared next to me as you both left. It was an apparition of the Lord, Lord Gregor the our emperor, the hungriest boy, he started to stroll through the street like a parade. What did you do? I, did you revere him? I did revere him internally, but I destroyed him. Uh, Adrius, while jump packing backwards alongside Iggy, uh, turns his gaze to him slowly and, and off calm, he says, He destroyed the revered form of Gregor. This was also after he mentioned staying up late past Gregor's bedtime. I don't want to. I don't want to use the H word, but <laughs> and again, I pull out like my Bible school notebook, but I'm like, you tell me what to do, Captain Sergeant, and, and I'll this, do it. I love that man, but I'll do it. And at this point, as we're having this conversation, very like organically and comfortably, we both backwards land uh, onto the ground, and, and Adria stops jump packing towards their destination. Um, this is quite troubling. <laughs> I have to decide if I killed Joe now? No, 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 no. Uh, if I might be so bold, we had an incident like this back on the Mastodon class cruise of the God Spleen Andromeda Super. We, before ejecting a man through the airlock, kept him around for a couple of days to see if he was a uh, <clears throat> heretic. And um, we couldn't figure it out, so we just flipped a coin. But I say we keep him around for a couple of days, then we flip a coin. We have until the end of the week for inspection. If they show up and we've not only solved this whole thing and bagged the heretic, then we're fine. Or he's himself and there's nothing to worry about. You're an answer. Well, yeah, in my spare time. Mm. <laughs> Sound counseling. Make model ducks. Yeah, what? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Don't need to know about that. We can talk mm, about that I later. I didn't um, think so. Uh, no, I will uh, prostrate myself. Then our task, while handling the primary, is to observe Alexander the Bloody. Oh, I won't have any trouble watching him. What was that? Mm, what? Mm? Oh, oh, shit. Did I... Uh, psh, uh, interstellar feedback. Psh, uh, psh. <laughs> yeah, it always does it's this. Just, yeah, my grim helm's on the blink. Sorry. Start uh, patting his helmet. Alexander, do you read me? I read, Iggy. I'm beaming you our coordinates now. Excellent. I'm on my way. We'll meet him there. Jump back. Oh! <laughs> zoom zoom! Comply! <laughs> and what are your coordinates? Um, oh, three, two, one here. Yeah, right. Uh, on the are... corner of here street and right there. <laughs> Place. Right, right, right outside of the old uh, golden chapel of Gregor. That is more specific. <laughs> okay. Iggy and Adrius arrive at the golden chapel of that hungry boy, Gregor. <sighs> Some minutes later, Alexander the Bloody joins them. When, over your comms, comes an announcement. Uh-oh. Marines of the Super Metal Astral Calicos, be warned, Gregor comes. On the sixth day, Gregor will be there for his wedding. I thought we had the whole solo week. Fuck. The hungry boy gets wed? Yeah, he's, he's getting wed to Zed. One more time. He's getting wed to Zed. The bed wedding wed Zed oh, of yes. Gen 5. Right. Of course. I, how could I be so forgetful? She has another name. Oh, I can't remember it right now. It's easier to remember, though. <laughs> Zed the bed wedding from Gen 5. Zed sure. the bed wedding, Ged from Galico 5. Right. It'll be a beautiful bed wedding wedding. Mm -hmm. and, and our hungry boy will 
soon be a hungry man. Mm -hmm. I will miss oh. his hungry boyish ways. Of course, but we will uh, rejoice in the ceremony that is to come here. And smell much blood in his name. Indeed. Yep. In the meantime, smell though. much blood in his name. Yes. Said sure. Alexander. I'm taking notes. Perfect. <laughs> In the meantime, and uh, Adrius will turn to Alexander, what do you think we should do at this point? The sun is down. Uh, we are here at a destination. What do you uh, think? To clarify, the sun rose. Oh, oh, it rose. Morning. Oh, so we went through the yep. morning. Okay. Um, this is the second day, right? Or is this the third? Third, third day. Oh, now, right? okay. no. <laughs> we have not done anything right. Uh, Alexander. What do you think we should do? We are now at the uh, Golden Chapel of Gregor. What are your thoughts? I say we gingerly get in through the front door mm -hmm. and then find these damn executioners and question them and make them <clears throat> comply as I gun my chainsaw. Turns his head to, to Iggy and gives a little, <laughs> all right. The Iggy's like kind of looking at you over this, what must be massive notepad that he's using it in his full armor. He's just writing in blood that he's scooping off the ground from one of the guys they crushed on their way out. Also chained onto his side. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I, it's really hard to keep ink on me. It gets everywhere, but blood, that's going to be everywhere anyway. Very well. Let us gingerly move into this golden chapel of Gregor and find these executioners. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. And we uh, start gingerly trying to get ourselves through the... Uh, <laughs> I'll, the re I'll, you know, if I'll repair the door again. I don't mind. I got bones. <laughs> Ig ignoring <laughs> ignoring the fact that we already jumped back out of this building earlier. Oh, man, that's a three. No, nah, it's broken beyond compare. It's, I can't fix this, guys. Gregor only gifted me with so through, much. You make your way through the door. Iggy turns to begin repairing it. And unfortunately, there's not much door left, but you do manage to fun to uh, craft a new door out of bone. Oh, it's so much better this way. Look at that. Look, mwah. Strong, stronger too. I, I think, think we so. could even walk through that door. Fucking invincible now. It's made of bones. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Techno Bishop, reveal yourself as he starts strolling down the aisle. I wrap the Techno Bishop spiraling rises from behind the altar. Yes, what can I do for you? You are to bring us to your executioners. We know that they stay here. They are not our executioners. They are the executioners of Gregor. Quit your semantics. We wish to see them now so we may cease this squabble. For the Emperor. For the Emperor. Meow, meow. Some civilians. Very well. Get Giant ready to explode from my dialogue. Hey, that's a two. Fuck. Okay. From a D20, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'd rather fail. Do you imply that we servants of Gregor lie and deceive? Do you suggest that the servants of Gregor could lie? Do you suggest that Gregor could lie? I don't suggest anything. I demand results. Comply! Comply! All right, you two, give me those uh, impress. Rolls. We're like the weirdest hype men ever. Which one is that? Yeah. I'm loving it. Five. Four. Okay. I don't know why I said that so good. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Five and a four. Your heresy will be reported to Gregor. <gasps> he he has word. been reported to Gregor, but we will take you to where the executioners stay. You dare declare heresy upon us, the anointed marines of the emperor himself? I sense. You dare accuse the voice of the emperor of falsehood? I sense chaos in the air. Captain Sergeant First Grade, I'm deeply confused. Hi, deeply confused. I'm Adrius Maltic. <laughs> I can't even finish it. All right, let me, but let me it's try. so good. Yeah, I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna try it again. Can we get a second take? Right, yeah, back to one. Back to one. Take, take second take. Second take. We'll get it. I mean, we'll just tell them we got it in one. Camera speed, second sound take. rolling. Okay. Iggy, Iggy, count it off. Yep. Nope. Uh, uh, that's gonna be uh, action. Captain Sergeant First Grade, I'm deeply confused. And Adrius turns to Alexander. Hi, deeply confused. I'm Adrius Maltinus, and he starts unloading on the on the bishop. 
<laughs> you fire your weapon, riddling the bishop with holes. It falls to the ground, shambles. Heresy purged. Now, to the executioners. Glory to the hungry boy. And I take his bones, and I just sort of, like, shake them out of his skin for later use. <laughs> okay. Reuse you begin shaking his bones, which are not bones. They are instead metal with these weird gears and wires within them. Uh, okay. Wait a sec. The holy vision of Gregor loves his sweet, sweet bones. This man says he works for Gregor and is filled with not bones. This is some bullshit of the mm. highest degree. Uh, as as a good Gregorian boy, uh, Iggy pulls out his little Bible school book and starts looking for like metal bones. Is this something that I've Gather never heard of before? Yeah. Uh, oh no, that's a twelve. That's a twelve. That's mostly Your Bible catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bones. You begin tearing through your Bible as you do. You are giving no care to what is happening around you. Eventually, you do find a passage which talks about how the holy priests of Gregor surrender their bones to the hungry boy and have them replaced with artificial ones. Oh, so that, that makes can sense. Slake his hunger. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, no, and as the realization clicks into your head, you look around and you see the destroyed remnants of this once beautiful chapel. Guys. I have a question. Fuck. What? Oh, mm. Are we the bad guys? <laughs> Alexander uh, I Andrews, hold up my medal. <laughs> I hold up my medal and I go, no, in this is the good guys. <laughs> Say that again? Say that again? Yeah. No, sorry, you first. No. Uh, Alexander and Adrius, in you witness him in his rapid devouring of the book, wandering and his arms just smashing pillars near him without a, a thought as the building begins to crumble around him. No, we can't be the bad guys. We serve the Emperor. Hey, However, we will need to fix this, make this a better chapel for the Emperor. It yeah, clearly I, was not strong enough for his I, magnificence. I figured that if there was one building to try and leave mostly intact, it would be this one. Yes, but this building should be able to stand up to the brilliance of Gregor. If he were to arrive and see that it was so poorly built, we've done the city a favor, destroying it before his holy blessed arrival. Exactly. A, a land to uh, accept the hungriest of lads uh, must be strong enough to embrace him as he would his own people with his might. Yes. So we'll need to fix this chapel so that his wedding goes off without a hitch. But in the meantime, we need to find those executioners. Yes, yes. Uh, comply. Yeah, meow, meow. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the bloody man I like. All right, let's go. And we, uh, I don't know, start looking for a way down. Yeah, to... because it said like the, the bowels of it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I I follow, but a little behind, leaving, like hopefully like letting Adris go off a little ahead, but staying close enough to Iggy. And I, I just quietly, murderously confide in him that I'm sorry, Iggy. I just, these days I get so confused. I, I'm just so used to killing and I, I just don't know what we're doing anymore sometimes. Uh, Iggy kind of looks at you, and then a crazy thought occurs to him, and he just goes, wait, 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 wait. No, it couldn't be, but like, what if it is? But it couldn't be, but what if it were? What? what? The sergeant is always condemning heretics, but he just shot himself a priest of Gregor. I dare not say what I'm thinking right now. Is it, is it the H word? It's more like deja vu, but also the H word, yes. You, you might be onto something. Yeah, this is really deja vu. I feel like, wasn't I just, didn't I? Never mind. Uh, you weren't there for that. We should <laughs> keep a close eye on the sergeant is all I'm saying. Wait, can you expand on that other thing real quick? Yeah, the long story about an airlock and a big ship and a flipping of a coin. Um, we'll just oh. give it a few days. Before Gregor gets here, we have to make a decision. I'll have to make two decisions. Don't worry about that. Uh, the second one is unimportant. Comply. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. I, I'm eagerly now, having confided with Iggy, go charging after my sergeant. But Such also, a rough day for little Bible boy Iggy. <laughs> Adrius, you managed to find what looks like a staircase going down. It is human-sized. You're not certain you'll be able to fit into it. Hmm. I found a route down, but it's not proper for us. Looks like too weak of an entrance way for us. Perhaps I could, uh... And I pull out the Psyax. <laughs> Carve us a quicker way down. Oh, you push the button? Oh, yeah. Great. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you push the button. The brain flares to life. Green energy begins sparking from it. The blade emerges and fires an actual bl axe blade, not just where it should be, 
launches it forward, cutting a hole straight through anything above you. Ah, more shoddy craftsmanship. I'm glad we've discovered this. Yeah, that that, that that's different. Uh, I, I, I kind of study it for a second. I turn it off, and then I face it towards the door, and I turn it on again. And it again crackles to life in a burst of... Green energy cuts out from it, launching a hole through the door. Oh, hell yeah. I quick time event this bullshit. I just, like, spam that button as many <laughs> times as I can, just blasting, like, a way down. Spam that light blast. You, sp you spam it. It cuts through that entire stairwell. There is now nothing standing in your way. There's also no staircase, but you don't need stairs. You have jetpacks. Well done, Iggy. Again, brilliant. Utterly brilliant. Just using the brain that uh, the hungry, hungry boy gave to me. The hungriest of boys. The brain appears bigger at this point. <gasps> it's learning. <laughs> <laughs> Adrius watches this moment. <laughs> hmm. Right, let's head out. Uh, Iggy, take charge. Well, uh, You've got the axe. You made the route. Lead the way. Y y yes, Captain Sergeant. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> Into the hole. Okay. As, Ale <laughs> as, as Alexander starts to, starts to yes! walk forward, Adrius puts an arm out to stop him from following through for a moment. Yes, Captain Sergeant, first grade. Just a moment, Alexander. Yes. I think it only proper that I let you know I have my concerns about this axe and its effect on Iggy. Did you see the energy that erupted from it? Yes, it was it was it was uh, shiny and, and, and colorful. What color, Alexander? It was green. Green. And what does green usually represent for us? Gushers. Ah, uh, chaos. Chaos, exactly. And sometimes gushers if we're lucky. They're delicious. I think we might have something on our hands here. I'm asking you to do this for me, Alexander. Watch Iggy. Watch him closely. For if the chaos is infecting him, as it may have affected those executioners, we may be put to the most imperative of tasks. I would do this. I, I would sacrifice my life to, to, to get this done. Uh, uh, comply, yes. Uh, uh, so Excellent. confusing. What a day. Don't forget. And he clasps his hand on the on the side of his helmet. I, t I grab his hand, or I put my hand on top of his hand and lean gently into it. Damn it. Uh, but again, wearing my face, my, my helmet down. Bringing his face close to his. his something. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, lucky. You're so, so lucky Iggy's not here. He would be so jealous. So 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 the little the little circular mouth thing mouth on, on the helmets are, are kind of grill kissing. Like just like just like the little top bit because the helmets are sort of leaning close. For the hungriest of our boy. <sighs> and he forcibly releases him. <sighs> now, down the hole. Watch him. And I, I go down and jump down the hole. Adrius takes a moment to, for himself and just takes a deep breath and looks up. Hungry lad, watch over me. And he jumps into the hole. Okay. You all land at the bottom of the hole. Uh, I'm lighting the area with my Psyax. Uh, uh, while well, you guys were, while well, you guys took a really long time to come down for some reason, I've named the brain Brian. Oh, you named it. And he turns pointedly to Alexander. <laughs> I turn pointedly to him with, again, the expressionless face mask. But my expression underneath my helmet is <gasps> a pure shock. Iggy turns in a different direction, assuming that something is happening. That's great. Was so happy you've named it. Did it tell you to? I don't. I don't think so. And he gives like a play it cool kind of expression with <laughs> with his body language. <laughs> I, I wipe the back of my forehead and my forehead of my helmet. <laughs> Scraping sound is quiet. Right. Well, anyway, Iggy, did you see anything down here? Uh, I think I might have stepped in someone, but that could just be the way the building's constructed with sort of like a gooey floor. I'm not sure. Uh, again, I'm not built for planets. So I'm an ensign. I don't know what land is like with your strange gooey floors. Of course, of course. Uh, probably just a testament to the weak building that we're having to investigate through. Truly but shoddy craftsmanship. It, it could be something to support uh, the lower back, easier on the feet. Mm, our support, that's a fair point. Yeah. Anyway, we need to find these executioners. Fan out and see what you can find. Did you know that poor art support is like the sixth and a half most notorious killer of space movies? As he's walking away. <laughs> I, uh, you I, reach, I, make I, your way into yeah. the stone corridors beneath the chapel. You you fan out do, uh, through the labyrinth one by one. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. Great. Okay. Me, me and Bran. Three gather information rolls, please. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got a six. Oh, no. I got an eight. I got a one. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's start with the failure, shall we? Mm-hmm. Might as Idris, well. Idris, you make your way through the tunnels until eventually you find your way <laughs> in a large room. You make your way in and you see hundreds of gaunt figures in robes standing, staring at you, their hands all raised towards you, a single gaunt finger pointing in your direction. Heretic. And Iggy, you... You got an eight? I did, in fact. Great. Okay, then we're going to go to Alexander first. <laughs> Alexander! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Alexander, you make your way through the tunnels until eventually you find your way to a very large room filled with hooded, robed individuals in black robes carrying large axes. And then Iggy, you also make your way into this room. However, as you do, the axe clips part of the wall, which causes it to begin collapsing, surrounding this room with a cacophony of falling stone as it begins raining down behind. You have only a few moments, maybe, before the room begins to collapse completely. I look over at Alexander, uh, and I look down at Brian, and I deactivate Brian, throw it on my back, um, and I I run up and grab two of these guys like grocery bags and just yell zoom zoom and take off with two survivors <laughs> that I have I have designated two survivors. <laughs> Okay, Idris, I, I, we'll, we'll cut to you first. <laughs> so give Alexander a moment to contemplate. Since he got the success, he gets time to react. Sure. Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, with his uh, assault rifle in hand as the gaunt hand extends in the room of what Idris assumes is a series of techno bishops, um, he will, he will uh, while just like having the rifle just comfortably hoisted, pointing up, um, he will say, techno bishops, you are given a moment to declare your truth true allegiance to the Emperor, and serve the task that you were given, instead of crossing paths with the anointed Marines of the Super Metal Astral Calico Chapter, who have been sent here upon the hungry lads' deigned wishes to take care of this land. Should you choose to cross paths, I shall simply take care of the Emperor's will. Impressing civilians. Yeah, as he slowly starts bringing the assault rifle down, pointing at them, waiting for whatever their response will be. And while he makes that roll, Alexander. Iggy just came in, clipped part of the wall, the room began to shake and fall apart, and then he blasted through the ceiling with two executioners. Alexander, what do you do? Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah. The moment to think didn't help. No, it didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I will, um, I will grab two of, uh, I will, I will also grab two, uh, survivors as I will now also designate them, but I do not fly out of the ceiling. I just pull them into the hallway behind me, which I assume is also not, is uh, hopefully not collapsing. If it is, I revise myself. No, it does not appear to be. Oh, okay. fuck. I just kind of gang. <laughs> Uh, a couple of a uh, couple couple dudes and uh, oh god, okay. uh, should I? Uh, 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 I look at both of them. Uh, I'm really confused. I do my hand scraping across my forehead again. Uh, I put my my metal face into my metal armpit and I smell nothing because it's metal. Uh, but I'm sweating on the inside of the suit because I'm just really confused right now. Okay, Adrius, what did you roll? With a d20, I rolled a six. Woo! Oh, boy. Okay. Anointed one, we do not seek to stand in your way. And then the room begins to shake. Are you doing this? We are not. It must be the executioners doing. Alexander and Iggy, I need protecting civilian roles from you two. I accidentally assigned a d6 to this. I feel great about this. Me too. Uh, I should feel four. less great about this. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's a four. Ooh. It's a four from Jaboy. Aw, four bros. Four bros. Okay. Accurate shit. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck. You I, rocket I don't give through a fuck. the ceiling yeah. as you do one of the executioners in your hand just simply collapses under the combined weight of your arm and the building that you're rocketing through. The other one sustains a minor concussion but does seem to make it through. Gregor has chosen the stronger of the two. <laughs> Alexander, you leap backwards with your two executioners back toward the hallway. Unfortunately, you misjudge it slightly and your arm crashes through one of the walls in the hall, rending this poor person apart as he connects with the stone bits. Yikes. The other one is, however, fine, as the room continues to shake 
and then collapse in eliminating the rest of the executioners in that room. Gregor chooses the strongest of the two. <laughs> it says with less confidence. <laughs> I'm sitting in the blood. He's very confused. Oh, man. Oh, what a day we are having. <laughs> what a day. Uh, while, yeah, while the room is, is shaking uh, and Adrius is assessing the situation, Techno Bishops, seek refuge elsewhere. I will see to the task at hand and make sure that the executioners cooperate. Protecting civilians. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> No, no, it, it ran away. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no! I see that protection's going very well. He's being super careful. There's not many places for it to go, and yet it found its fucking way off my desk. Uh, all right. Uh, protecting civilians. A seven. Okay. The techno bishops look at you as you leave. Uh, if there's anything I can do to uh, uh, help secure this room, because I think that this is a huge congregation of techno bishops and they have not chosen to uh act in a heretical way to me okay uh so i'm gonna try and stabilize the structural i guess stability of it maybe like reinforce a wall or whichever thing i deem is going to be the best to sort of uh, uh diffuse the reverberations that are probably carrying through the chambers you said you rolled a what a seven seven great so then go ahead and give me that building and repairing things roll is that from is no good <laughs> a four hey okay you begin trying to stabilize the room throwing some bones which are conveniently located in these catacombs up against it attempting to repair it Perfect. you do manage to repair some however then another section begins to collapse the techno bishops however have mostly fled the room all right good job only Adrius. maybe a tenth of them got crushed perfect just as i planned all right uh, hops on his comm link. Uh, Alexander, Iggy, what's your status? Uh, um, deeply confused, Captain Sergeant First Grade, but I, I have secured one of the executioners. Well oh. done. Iggy, what's your status? I, too, have detained one of the executioners, ordained by Gregor himself as the stronger of the two that I took. Uh, one is Bones now. Wait, yours too, Iggy? Uh, did you also- Oh, look at Twinsies. Twinsies, mate. Twinsies. Oh. Twinsies. Well done, Twinsies. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Let's reconvene up, uh, outside of the building while we may speak to these executioners. Way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> Just going through the fucking foundation, I assume. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, Make your and, way out into the midday sun. Yeah. Uh, uh, all reconvened now uh, with two executioners. Uh, one who is concussed, right? One who's, who's, who's sort of loopy. Uh, okay. I mean, they're both pretty loopy at this point. All right. Executioners, how many more of yours uh, uh, exist in this place. We are the will. We are the hand of Gregor. We are the hand of his justice. We are infinite. Yes, of course. But how many of you, if you could put a number, <laughs> how many of you, like you, and he like kind of squeezes the shoulder a little bit with the most ginger of touch, probably dislocates his shoulder. Being uh, nice to civilians. Sure. Uh, yeah. A one. <laughs> oh, no. You. Amazing. They look at each other as you're going, their fingers begin trying to calculate as your hand goes on the shoulder of the one and it clamps down just a little too hard. He screams in agony, falls to the ground, and then the other one says, one. Perfect. Uh, and, yeah, no, no, you got it. I pull the axe off my back and uh, hand it to him and go, this is the head executioner's axe. You are now the head executioner. He takes the axe, and as he does, his body begins to seemingly get stronger. The muscles become a little more defined. Uh, I turn to uh, to Adrius and I say, uh, Captain Sergeant Adrius, you are now dealing with the head executioner, well, who I assume we have to make this law with. Indeed. Very well. Head executioner, you shall no longer cross paths and execute anyone with your grav cars, as Gregor has deemed it for the safety of Vanis. But Gregor granted us that parking space to do it as we choose. Are you questioning the hungriest of hungry boys who leads us all to an early bedtime? I do not question him. It was his order that granted our sanction on that space. And we have been brought here to correct your crossing the path of the techno bishops. You and them must work hand in hand. You understand this? Then they must relinquish their claim to that spot. I audibly gasp. 
I put a hand on Alexander's shoulder. <laughs> they will not do so. You will continue doing your task with the weapon you have been given as your right, and you will see to relinquishing your death by Gravkar's orders. You say that we should disregard the orders of Gregor? No, I say you will strive to do more above that which Gregor allows. We must all be better for Gregor. Can you do this? Are you pure enough for his imperial good boy might? Impressing civilians. Oh, this guy's head's about to explode. I'm so sorry, uh, guys. As as he's saying all these dope, like, Gregor things, I just look at Alexander and I give him a big nod. Like, I think the captain's okay. I, I look at you, um, again, and just stare at your helmet. But remember, I have no expression because I'm wearing a helmet. Oh, yeah, the Grim Helm is down. Yeah, but on the inside, I am just really deeply confused. And I'm just... <laughs> I rolled a 16. Bye. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> goodbye, executioner. Okay. <laughs> you deliver your speech to him. A look of steely resolve crosses his face. He raises his axe. Executioners rise! And as he does, the brain explodes from you being used too many times and obliterates him as well as most of the surrounding area. You're fine. Of Brian! No! <laughs> Adrius turns to him sharply, a little viscera flying off of his helmet that splashed onto him from the executioner. Uh, he as he was turned my most recent friend. <laughs> I, I look at the Captain Sergeant First Grade and I'm, again, just looking at him because the helmet, but also deeply confused. <laughs> right. Well, he wasn't worthy. Uh, did he have an axe on him? Did he have his own axe? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I pick up his axe and I go, um, okay, okay. And I'm just going to look around <laughs> to find <laughs> a person. <laughs> Uh, can okay, I? Okay, you find a. Mm? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Let's resolve this first. Okay. You find a random person. Okay. It is a sm smallish child staring at you, mouth agape from a window nearby. Oh, no. Mm. It happened. I knew it was going to happen. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> before this we all saw this coming you guys every single one of us i mean we said early this is not a pg-13 uh podcast so fucking a george these are the cards you dealt me all right <laughs> so hey, i go where the story leads this yeah. was the moment <laughs> well not but a channel uh, well okay then uh, as Adrius starts uh, purposely striding towards this child who's staring through the a window, looks right? up at you through the window. He's holding a teddy bear in one hand, and he reaches out toward you on the other side of the window with a small flower, handing it to you through the window. Oh, no. Fucking hippie. Step outside, boy. He just says, just looking at him. He does so. Let's start this correctly. What's your name, boy? Um, I'm Timmy Reason. Well, Timmy Reason, do you know who Gregor is? Gregor, the hungry boy who establishes the bedtimes for the world, who claims the bones of the deserving, and who leaves the bones of the wanton masses to suffer in the fires of chaos. Good boy, good boy. And he takes a knee, uh, now looming all the higher uh, over him. You have been chosen by the imperial might of Gregor to execute those who do wrong for him and his people. And he slowly puts this giant axe uh, into the hand that has a that has a flower in it. <laughs> okay, give me your being nice to civilians, roll. Oh uh, no! <laughs> no 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 no! Time to time to paste a little boy. All right, whip six. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Gregor wills it! Unrequited he, he, success! He looks up at you, his mouth agape, his eyes wide with promise, the innocence of youth. As he reaches for the axe, his hand opens, the flower falls slowly to the ground as it closes around the axe. His eyes harden, and he gives you the solemn nod of the head executioner. Do the hungry boy proud, lad. I will do the hungry boy proud! Hmm. Also, you can't kill people with grav cars. That's a no-no. No-no! <laughs> Understood! Excellent. Gets up from the knee, walks over to the two. All right, time to build a chapel. Bravo, Sergeant Captain, first grade. Absolutely Bravo. beautiful. Uh, quick question. 
Mm. Most of the chapel is still standing. Mm -hmm. Shall I break out the mortar, Captain? We've got, what, three days? Yeah. Yeah, the mortar seems right. Fucking finally! I fire. I open fire. I lay every <laughs> shell I have. <laughs> I've been polishing them for days. I've been waiting. <laughs> Okay, the chapel is well and truly decimated, <laughs> as is much of the surrounding area. But that's fine. It leaves you much more room to build. It's very confusing as I'm yelling for Gregor as I destroy his beautiful chapel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's the a lot glory of- glory of Gregor! <laughs> yeah. All right, boys. We now need to make an even better chapel for Gregor's arrival. Yes, and I leap off into the air screaming, reduce, reuse, recycle, as I look for bones. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to enjoy our show. New episodes of our main series release every first and third Monday of the month, but this special Grab Bag Gaming has another episode waiting. If you want to stay up to date on our releases, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at RPG Blender, or subscribe on your podcast app of choice. You can also find us on YouTube for some RPG tutorial videos at the RPG Blender, or join us for some live tabletop action on Twitch at RPG Blender. Links in the description. Music is The Punk Rock Show by My Free Mickey. Copyright 2012. License under a Creative Commons Attribution License. Thank you again, and remember, there's gaming outside the Forgotten Realms.